Hello my friends, Merry Christmas! Plan was to publish this video earlier this week, but I was too busy with eating. Lots of you probably had the same problem, so this is better time for this video. In this video, this will be short and relaxed video with plenty of bad English, so be prepared for that. Um, in this video we will check these two boards. These are boards produced by Waveshare. I never used Waveshare boards. Or I did. I don't remember. But they have very nice boards. And I wanted to try these two little fellows. Because I noticed that price is quite nice. Around $12. And they have those sharp displays. Because they are quite small, three and a half centimeters or less than inch and a half, they are quite small and compact, but still resolution is similar to Lilygo T Display S3. Where is it? No, <laughs> resolution is even higher than this much bigger board so resolution is 320 by 172 also they are very breadboard friendly they have this rgb lightning which is also cool and annoying sometimes sd card readers and they are both powered with esp32 but with different chips. This project I made, which is of course internet clock, because uh, every month I need to uh, make a different internet clock. This project is, this board is powered with ESP32 C6 and it has regular USB C connection, connector, sorry, and this one which is temperature monitor which, and humidity which gets data from this Xiaomi Mia temperature sensor which is really cool using Bluetooth this one is powered with well-known ESP32 S3 so more powerful faster and this C6 is more power efficient and supports more protocols like Zigbee and some other fancy protocols we never used and probably we will never use. And that's it. This is my R2D2 project because I love R2D2. I think he is the chosen one. Looks very cute. So, two cute, affordable boards, and build quality is also very good. And I like this red capacitor. It gives some color to this PCB the design. SD card readers. This one is nice because it can be plugged in directly to PC and computer and you can make maybe some uh, evil projects like keyboard which will send million of letters in one second to your enemy PC. Or you can just program some Bluetooth or wireless projects and you don't need to carry cable with you when you are programming those boards on your work while your boss is not. Thank you. Thank you for watching the whole video. Please tell me what you think. Uh, like always you can do download these, uh, these projects uh, code is in description. 
Right now, I only managed to run LVGL library on those, but I think it will not be a problem to use them with TFT SPI or some other libraries. That's it. Thank you, WaveShare, for sending me these boards. Goodbye, take care, and don't eat too much like me. Bye.